Hey, this is Not Sir, and this is not World of Warships. This is Overwatch. It had a stress test beta over the weekend. I loved it. This particular game is amazingly close and amazingly entertaining, and that's why I'm going to share it with you. Am I going to try and add a game or two into the rotation? Yes. I just... I cannot. I cannot just live off of one game. I am probably going to get all of the ships before they have more new ships released, so I just want to have enough content that I can always be making something that people can enjoy, learn from, and this game seems very natural to a teaching environment, also entertaining. And the game starts off, we are trying to support our tank, the mech. It's a tank. A healer and a tank go together like peanut butter and jelly, okay, so as the healer, my goal is to keep him alive, and of course, I fail at this. <laughs> the enemy, thats his name is the Reaper, he has dual shotgun pistols, as ridiculous as that sounds, and he was able to completely destroy her mech, but she's still alive. She's able to help me take out an enemy ninja. He throws stars, he has a huge katana, of course. And the enemy Reaper is right in front of me, and I want to stay as far away as I can. I have a knockback on a pretty reasonable cooldown, Great for protecting yourself, and also killing the enemy in unique ways, you'll see. And yet we knock him back, we try and keep him outside. Don't you dare get close to us. Our Reaper is trying to flank the enemy, and we're going to try and help him. We have the speed boost, and up, enemy turret. This guy is Bastion, and he's just a mechanical turret. And of course, the turret is set up in the corner, very hard to flank, and I do my best to do damage wherever the shield is not. And unfortunately for me, it didn't work out. My speed did not counter the turret as well as I thought it would. We're trying to capture A. My ultimate is up. My ultimate provides an aura for my team that is a huge shield, so they can take way more damage than they would normally take. And we're trying to help the friendlies take out that enemy. I think they have something in that building. You can kind of see my friendlies are all dying when they go into that building. This enemy reaper uses his ult. His ultimate does a ton of AoE damage and we gotta take him out. Myself and the friendly bowmen are able to capture the point and start the payload process. And we're just clearing out all the enemies. I think they had something in this room. Now, a payload, you just escort it. It's what I would love in World of Warships, I would love an escort mission where you protect either merchant ships or a friendly fleet, something like that, and yep, they had a teleporter. The teleporter is allowing them to get closer to the front, and myself, a couple friendlies are able to clear it out. We give ourselves a little bit of distance because we don't want the ninja to be close with his sword. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad idea. And the enemy Reaper is messing with me. So he is our knockback. We're trying to do as much damage to him as we can. Friendly mech shows up. She has unlimited ammo, so she doesn't have to reload. She just needs to be in range. She's got, like, shotguns for her arms. And, yep, yep, Bastion is set up in a corner. We don't want to go anywhere near that. And a lot of this game is finding the right combination to take out the enemy. Obviously, a healer, a tank, a couple DPS, good CC, all those are very important. It's just like playing World of Warships and using your battleship's armor to absorb a lot of damage for the team as the destroyers go in, take out the enemy battleships, the cruisers go in, take out the enemy destroyers. I really like that whole counter play. And this game has the exact same style of counter. You can pretty much find a character that will hard counter you, or very nearly. So you have to figure out how to play around their slows, stuns, speed, damage, what have you. And we're trying to help push this payload to a checkpoint. It won't go back any further than this, but the enemy, this ice woman, she's kind of like Mr. Freeze. <laughs> That's the best analogy I can use, okay? She tries to freeze you and slow you down. She also has a wall. And she went immune. Now, when she gets out of this, she's full health, so we're trying to work her health down. We really don't want to die to her, and we we use our knockback, and we score two points. There was a little opening where you could fall down and die, and yep, she even knew it. 
Yep, yep. That was a complete accident, but now that I know I can do it, I'm gonna do it more. And I'm going to love it. Friendly uses radar, we could see through walls, and we could see that we don't want anything to do with that guy. He just uses ultimate. And we are too far forward. Too many enemies are running by us. So we are trying to meet up with our team, which we do. And we're trying to focus down the target. But the target is still alive, and the enemy uses his ultimate, but he's finished off by the friendlies. And the enemy ninja shows up. We kind of knock him back, kind of a mini CC. And they're able to finish him off. And an enemy, Lucio, this is the exact same guy as me, comes forward. We try and chase him down, but he's running away. Don't know exactly where he went, but I'm going to stay around. And the friendly uses his ultimate that clears out everything of the payload. I'm going to stay around my teammates. There's four friendlies that are benefiting from my aura. You can see the real-time data on your screen. There is a lot going on, but it does make sense. And oh, the friendly mech is taken out. And we're trying to get it to the little platform in front of us. Our ult is up. We see an opportunity to try and boost our team to victory. The enemy uses his ult to counter mine. Both teams basically have twice as much health as they usually would. The enemy uses his ult. We help finish him off. And they pushed us back from the payload. But we're trying to keep our team as healthy as possible. And you can see that friendly. I notice him, of course. He's very low. The friendly reaper is very low. And we're trying to push him back, kill the low health target, but he's not low anymore. I believe the enemy used his heal boost. We're going to use our heal boost. This large guy is a tank, and he has a hook, so we got to be careful around him. Ultimate's back up, but no, we fell in the hole. This was the hole that we used to kill. And yeah, let's just watch it again. Yeah, just just enjoy this. <laughs> we use our ultimate, and we fall in a hole. Yep. So we've got three minutes left. It's very close. We have a chance to win, but the enemy has gotten a little stronger in their will to prevent us from winning. And the friendly mech doesn't have it right now. We need to get her back in it. It helps take a lot of damage from the enemy. So we're waiting for our team. We are about to go around the corner, and all the enemies there. So let's pull back. Oh, barely. Oh, man, we took a huge shot from Bastion in his tank form. Thankfully, it doesn't last that long. Enemy dragon, which does damage in the line that it goes through. The enemy uses his hook, and he uses his ultimate, and we're going to run. Nope. Nope. Can't save ourselves. This doesn't look good. The enemy is pushing us back, keeping us off the objective, and yeah, just look at this guy. But our ult is almost up. We do have two minutes and 30 seconds to still win the game. And Bastion's already set up. We need to look for a flank. It's very dangerous to go at a turret head on, obviously. And it looks like they're able to take him out. Our ultimate is up. And we don't really need to use it right now. There's only one or two enemies in the area. We're trying to push back the bowman. The bowman is sort of a sniper. And my friendlies are trying to fight this guy. Yeah, they take him out. And we're pretty healthy. We knock back the reaper. It really helps out because he does AoE damage with his ult. And if we knock him away from teammates, he's not doing any damage. So anytime you find yourself in a position where something's doing AoE damage, just knock him back. And I don't know where the ninja went. Yep, Bastion set up in a corner. Friendly gets her mech back. We also have this large beast of a guy named Reinhardt. He's got a huge hammer. He's all melee, and he puts out a huge shield. Enemy Bastion goes into his tank form. You want to kind of spread out, because he does a lot of damage in an AoE, and you want to minimize who takes that damage. But we're successfully pushing the point. We've got... Five friendlies up, our ult comes up, we use it to try and help our team stay healthy. We finish off the enemy Lucio, and this enemy Reaper's just jumping around. Enemy, looks like she just fell down, and Tracer, which she, she just fell down again. Tracer can go back, and I believe he had already used his go back ability in time, and that was kind of funny. And oh no, our friendlies are all taken out. We're given ground, but ah, uh, he's able to eliminate us. 40 seconds left, guys. We've got to get this. And yeah, he threw a throwing star at me. Wow. 
but we got our speed boost. We we're able to move to the front rather quickly. And you can see our friendlies. A couple of them are low health. And I'm trying to get in position where we can kind of flank. Everyone benefits from that speed boost and they catch Reaper out. Her CC is able to keep him completely locked down. And the enemy Reinhardt shield is about to break, which he does. Oh, he pinned me. No, he threw me into the wall. Oh, what a way to go. And, oh, are we going to lose this game? No. Come on, push. As long as there's a person on the payload, the game will not end or end very slowly. So we're just trying to rush back. Ultimate's almost up. Enemy Reinhardt's doing work. Friendly's finish him off. The mech dies. We try and use our ultimate to keep Friendly's alive. Friendly Dragon's gonna definitely help out. And we're just trying to stay in contact with the payload and kill enemies that rush up to it. Look how low our health is. We're keeping the shotgun guy back and we're able to survive. Wow. If I wanna knocked him back, he would've killed me. Reinhardt pushes us back. He's up again. We push him back again. Come on, kill them. We gotta keep them off the payload and <laughs> we knock them back and we're, yes, we won. Oh, we knocked back the guy that was preventing us from winning the game. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to knock him into that little hole. And yeah, the cool thing about this game is they show the play of the game. So the friendly Hanzu is gonna be seen. And this is the guy that was right on my right side. He's shooting the enemy, Lucio, and he finishes him off. He's going after Tracer. He takes out Tracer. Can he finish off the ninja? The ninja goes immune. Yes, he takes him out. So what do you think? Is Overwatch entertaining? Was this match entertaining? Could you see yourself watching more of this game? I love World of Warships, but I want to diversify a little bit. So I'm not only playing a single game and having all of my content funnel through that game just in case something happens that prevents you from playing that game. I really think there's a lot of value in playing a game, explaining how you're playing the game, having some fun, but also teaching players so they can have more fun in their games. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time.